Hi everybody, this is Little Egypt here for AfterBuzz TV and I'm with Lisa Marie Barron, who was our guest. Remember when you yes. showed up to AfterBuzz? Yes. That was that so was fun. That was so much fun. You have like a, a great life. Oh my God. You get to meet all these interesting people. Yeah, I'm very it's jealous. True. It's true. Well, one of them was you, and I'm so glad that you're here. Is this your first time at the Cauliflower oh Alley Club? Oh my gosh. Club? First time at CAC, which is incredible. Um, I would have just came to us for the reunion um, to see all these legends that I watched as a kid and stuff like that. It's it's really cool because it's not so much like you're, the fans, they really, you get interaction, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you get to sit down and talk to, with the wrestlers and stuff like that. So it's very, it's, it's very rewarding because you get to kind of get feedback of what they loved about you and what they hated about you. So it's a kind of a, it's a catch-22, right? Were they brutally but, honest? They're, my fans are brutally honest. I don't, th yeah, yeah. Okay. But um, it's always, uh -huh. you know, it's now, really nice. It's nice though, you know, because wrestling is, you know, it's wrestling. Yeah. Um, nothing ever, but you know, you're going to get some bad storylines. You're going to get good storylines, you know. So, but I now, love what I do. Last night you were here. You came in to watch a, a lot of young indie workers work out in the in the banquet room. It was amazing. What did you think of that? Well, for me, I just got introduced to indie wrestling uh, like two years ago um, wow. from the Squared Circle, the restaurant, wow. and um, from my friend Greg. And uh, I cannot tell you how hard these guys work for very little money and to get the experience in the ring. So I was not gonna show up last night, but I was in my hotel room, about to take a nap, but I felt guilty <laughs> that I should be here to support the indie wrestling. And uh, you know, they're all trying to make it to you know the big league and stuff like that. So I, I think it's very important for people that have been up there to show some support for the indie wrestling because that's they are the future of our, our business. You know, they are future superstars and um, it's it's incredible and also I got to see other people that I haven't seen in a long time perform you know so and it's not work for me because I'm a huge huge fan yeah. of wrestling you guys all know that because I tend to mark out a little bit more so than other people so I, I really enjoy it you know and I think God indie wrestling is so breath Freshing, freshening. Is that, is that did I say that oh, yeah, right? Yeah, because it's really authentic, right? It's, it's like very, really like the grassroots of what we do. It is, and also it's um it's a family. Um, it's not like, oh, she's been in WWE, she's been in TNA, or 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 he's been here here. Um, if you're a wrestling fan or you're involved in wrestling, it's a family. It's a it's a community that we all can nerd out together, and it's okay. And it's not a closet love anymore. You know, it's accepted by everybody now. You know, so it is rewarding and. I'm a fan, man. I don't. I don't separate myself as um, a wrestler. Do you know what I mean? I still watch it and enjoy it and and take it for what it is. And and man, I, I love everything about it. Bad, good, ugly, the beautiful, everything. The roller coaster ride in wrestling. I love it. It's a high. So Lisa Marie, let me tell you, you are a perfect example of what it's like to be in the eye of the storm. But when you step back to look at it, it's not some place where you live every day. You live here. You live with the, with your fans. You're you're very very active in supporting Cauliflower Alley Club, which is a nonprofit organization. And this year, you're getting inducted. I'm so excited for you. What's it going to feel like when you're up there getting? Yeah, I don't know. This is my first experience. Um, yeah. yeah, and thank God for you because you little Egypt introduced me to CAC so thank you so much and to Eric who nominated me I big shout out to you I really appreciate that but it's always humbling you know because um, for me in the wrestling business I still feel green it's so weird 14 years and you still feel new at it because it's always a learning experience and you always I'm so critical on myself so I never think I have a hundred percent perfect match and stuff like that so I'm always thinking do I really deserve this you know, it's, it's, it, I don't know, it's a very bizarre feeling, and um, but I'm super excited about it. And um, I didn't write my speech, so I'm a little nervous about that. So I know I'm going to get heat from a lot of people for not calling them out. But I made bullet points, and um, I just hope I don't bore anybody with my stories, you know? She is so cute, isn't it? So authentic, so sweet. I love you. I love you. So glad you're here.